COVID-19, trying to slow things down. But hey, we're super excited that uh, some athletes are still making good use of the time. So I suppose this morning we've been catching up with some of our sports uh, personalities to find out how they're keeping uh, uh, with the times in this pandemic. Let's catch up with the Tigress forward, Evelyn Akato. Evelyn Akato joins us on the show this morning. Good morning, champ. Welcome to sports this morning. Good morning and thanks for having me. All right, good morning, good CC. You. Good morning, Evelyn. How are you doing? <laughs> good, to, good to have you on I'm the show, good. Evelyn. Uh, so I, I see I, I see you busy on Instagram, but but tell tell us, tell your fans, what have you been doing uh, in this COVID nineteen era? Uh, well, for for one, I'm trying to stay safe, trying to keep safe and healthy by staying at home. Um, and then also I've been working out aside granting some interviews for I've been uh, working out and just um, communicating with family and friends, you know. Okay. I remember the last time we spoke to you on this show and all that, the lockdown was really heavy. I mean, nobody could go out and everything. But in Lagos, it's been eased a little bit. Have you started going out or you're still, you know, staying indoors and not doing anything at all? I don't, I don't have anywhere to go, so I just stay indoor. <laughs> because um, we know that sports unless... facilities are still closed, so it's still difficult for you to want to like, go to the stadium and train and all. Then I saw pictures, or clips of you and uh, some other guys I mean, actually playing football. It was quite interesting. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's just um, my neighbors, me and my neighbors. You know, sometimes we get tired. You know, it's, it's difficult, you know, trying to stay positive and just, just keep and safe. You know, so just playing football with my neighbors and all that, that we all live in the same environment, you know. We know we're safe. We are in the same building. So just trying to um, play football and keep safe. Okay, know, Evelyn. Just, I want to continue where Cecilia stopped because I saw the video too and I was like, she is a basketball superstar. <laughs> now she's trying something with football. Well, you know, I actually played uh, football growing up. It's a sport that I played around my neighbors, you know. So straight football. I mean, I might, I might not be perfect because it's really been a while that I played. And then that got me, though. Uh, it was fun, you know. And I see you scored a goal right basketball. there. Uh, Abu Aziz with the assists. But that's not the one I'm concerned about. I'll, you'll see the next goal now, and then you'll try to explain to me <laughs> What you are trying to do after you scored the goal? <laughs> yeah, so it, I was trying to act like a football player, <laughs> but it just didn't work out for me. You <laughs> see, uh, after I don't know if they give like red card or yellow card. You see how like they want you. They want you, but but I don't think women's football are allowed to do that, Cecilia. I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> you have to be sure what you're wearing under before uh -huh. you can actually do that. No, but but it was, was great. But, but it's okay. We love it. I, I thought it was fun, so I'll let your fans say it. <laughs> it was actually fun. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> but outside this, you know, what are the things that you're doing? Because we, we know this is a, this is difficult times. The last time you said you walk out, you still follow your routine and all that. And I saw pictures and videos. Uh, where you are trying to actually train some people on how to stay safe or something. What's that all about? Uh, you know, they always say be your brother's keeper, you know. I know one thing for a fact that you tend to eat more when you're bored, you know, and I think I've actually controlled that because me playing overseas, you know, it's like for my own routine is the gym, back to the house or store, back to the house. So I had to control my eating habits. So I think um, one thing to stay, like one thing, one of the things to stay sane is by working out, you know, keeping yourself busy. So yeah, I try to like, I don't know who I know is following, but I try to come on live video and just do some workout routine and, and also try to talk to them about staying safe, you know. Just being me, you know. I know, I know, um, it is hard. It's hard for me too, you know. Um, I'm not really used to staying in or working out, but I'm I'm learning that right now. So I mean, it's all about being your brother's keeper and just now in this pandemic, it's all about we, not I. So I'm trying to do that as well, you know. 
Uh, Evelyn, let's let's bring the discussion to the D Tigers, the senior women's basketball team. Uh, 2019 was a good year for you guys after winning the Afro Basket, and then you guys took that momentum to uh, the OQT, qualified for the Olympics. The fire was burning. Uh, this pandemic, COVID-19, has paused things now. Um, when all this is done, that fire that the D Tigers had in them before this pandemic, will it still be burning? I mean, it's all, of, it's all about us, you know. It's our Z and our enthusiasm. I don't think in, it definitely would die off. No, it's the energy. We have the energy. So we bring the energy, not like, you know. So it's, and, um, you know, I think last week or so, we had a Zoom meeting and everyone was just happy, you know, seeing each other once more on video call and all that. So, like, that's the energy, you know, that's the energy I'm talking about. So, when we come together, there's a different vibe, a different energy, and I think it's definitely going to be there. When you girls are back together, now that nothing is going to be lost, it's still the same D Tigers that we'll be saying, right? So, you're saying? Yeah, it's still the same. And even now, better, by God's grace. Okay, we're expecting that because we know Olympics is going to be in 2021. I mean, the, the shifting and all that some people actually said is going to disrupt your training routine and all that. You know, you were preparing for a tournament and suddenly you can't prepare for it anymore. And of course, while others were saying that it's going to give them more time to prepare. Uh, we, you now have like more than a year now to the Olympics. If you want to talk to the Federation at this particular time, what will you be saying to them to prepare for that Olympics? Um, I think... It for one, it's actually giving the Federation more time to um, prepare us financially, like prepare financially, you know. Um, and I think that's something we really need to be able to um, do better, you know. Because they say one of the one of the one motivation we need as an athlete and in, even as a, as people, you know, is money, you know, the financial aspect of it. So I think if we see that they're doing us well, like financially, it will really want to motivate, motivate us to push forward, you know. And I think that's something um, that the Federation needs to be doing. It COVID gives them more, more time. Uh, evening COVID-19 has really uh, paused a lot of sporting action. And these are the times where we need to be there for each other. Uh, we see a lot of efforts from the government, from uh, individuals from corporate organizations. Let's bring it back to sportsmen and women as yourselves. What can you guys do to assist in this difficult time? Well, for me personally, I've been trying to like give as much as I can. You know, we sport as uh, you know, we, and I don't know about I know football. They they you know, but in terms of basketball, we don't have as much as footballers football players have or. We try to give us back as much as we can. And I think I'll be doing giveaway uh, for my fans. But now what I'm trying to do is, as per, like, courtesy of my foundation, I'm trying to, like, give out some food items as well as face masks. Because I think now we all need to be wearing masks. I know it's crazy. It's not going to be easy to adapt to the new um, situation, or to the new, new normal. But I'm trying to do um, something courtesy of my foundation, Benier Foundation. So I'm trying to do that and just try to give food items, face mask, and, you know, help the vulnerable as much as I can. You know. Okay, that, that's a good one. Still on COVID and uh, disruption of sports and all that. I mean, you play in Spain. And for a while now, the league is ongoing and suspended and all that. So, is, I, I mean, have you heard anything from your club? Uh, what are the plans to get back to playing again? Well, I'm just waiting until September. That's my resumption date, per se. But we communicate. My, my coaches, the team, um, doctor, everybody communicates in through WhatsApp, and I think um, we're trying to stay in touch and just be preparing for next season. You know, it's, it got cancelled, actually, French. Like, the French League got cancelled, and now it's like a new season. So just trying to prepare for new, next season.
Okay. Well, that's a good one, trying to prepare for new season. Just keep preparing and keep mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. I mean, it's wonderful and all that, trying to help people and other things you've been doing. Thank you so much for taking our time to talk to us this morning, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it.